Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to look at Proud Mary. Proud Mary was a request for David, one of my supporters on Patreon. And this is a song from 1969 by the American rock band Creedence Clearwater Revival. Um, the Proud Mary was a Mississippi riverboat based in Memphis. Um, on this song I'm going to show you the intro riff, uh, the vocal melody, what you could do for some backing to this melody, um, and um, a solo. Uh, a couple of solos, one based on the original guitar solo and another more fiddle type solo and also a suggested ending. Okay, so it starts off with a, a really nice uh, rock type riff which goes, uh, which I'll just play it with single notes to start with. Like that. Now, this kind of riff, uh, it always works well with parallel fifths, which is the fiddle player's version of a guitarist's power chord, which is a, a chord which doesn't include any thirds. So all I'm doing is when I put my finger down on a C, it is resting also on the note above it. And if your fingers are fat enough or you are leaning your hand over enough, then both notes will come out cleanly. And the idea is that you only ever think about the lower note, the, the, the upper note takes care of itself. And this is a very useful technique in all sorts of playing. Uh, another way of playing the same riff is to go down an octave because it's kind of more powerful down there. Um, and then you run out of notes, so then you go up an octave. So it's going to sound like... Okay, let me just uh, play that little bit with the backing. Okay, then we have a little two bar link where the guitar is doing. And this is a very satisfying kind of thing to do on the fiddle. I would do it with a D and a A above it. And a little slap in between. Uh, if you're used to chopping, then this is a good place for that. Okay, that now I'm going to give you the vocal verse, which is something you pr probably wouldn't want to do, but it's always very good to know it. And it goes to A, B minor. Then it's the chorus. For the chorus, I think it's good to do a, a double stop. And you could do all of that uh, harmony. Uh, a below it. E over A. Three over two. And then there's that little answer. Uh, if you if you were playing this either as a solo or um, as a an instrumental then you would want to make it more fiddly with more double stops and a few ornaments and i'm just going to give you an example of that one two three four <laughs>
backing you could do. So you could just carry on with the da 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 da, but with uh, double stops. Maybe some other rhythm. Oh. And just remember to count so that you know when the A is coming. For B minor, I would do a B with a F sharp above it, or F sharp below it. And then it's on to the solo. So the original solo mostly works, but I've I kind of divert from it a halfway through. But this is what we've got. So as I say, that's close to the original guitar solo, but um, as I always say, most people know, mostly don't know all of the original solo of whatever you're doing. So providing it sounds like the beginning of it sounds right, then it's better to do something that's more appropriate to your playing style. I'm just gonna do another solo and this, no, I'll, I'll do that solo first and then I will play my own solo. Now I'll do another solo and this time I'll improvise it. so on and I think if you are a fluent improviser you will normally do a better solo making it up yourself than if you're following someone else's um, now this is another song that fades and uh, fading is not a good idea uh, if, you, if you're with a live band so I would suggest um, ending on the end of a chorus uh, rolling Ending like that. Um, and do it on the fiddle nice and strong. With those, uh, the open A and E and um, F sharp below the D. And if the band has no idea how to end it, then um, tell them in no uncertain terms, this is how it's gonna end. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. If you like a PDF of the sheet music, do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. If you want to get all of my PDFs in one go, join me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.